Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video on cord storage. This is a handful of Romex remnants. Romex is house wiring. You can get it in different thicknesses, 12, 10, 14. At the end of a residential wiring job, this right here might not be that uncommon of a sight. If you pick these pieces up, you can do a few things with them. You can strip them down to bare copper and recycle them. Or you can keep them handy and cut them into short lengths, various sizes, and use them for storing your cords. If you've been in your hardware store in the cord section, you've seen little pieces of twist wire that are basically the exact same thing except that they charge you a few bucks for them. Now there are a bunch of different ways to store your cords. Um, daisy chaining them. A lot of people just grab the cord and go ahead and wrap it around their hands and elbows. You get a nice loop, but how do you effectively store that? You could wrap the cord around, you could choke it. Lots of different options. But if you have some scrap Romex, it's pretty easy just to wrap it around, give it a twist, and it only costs you a few cents instead of a few bucks. A cut end of Romex can get a little bit sharp. The way that I alleviate that is just by bending it over on itself. Yeah, this is an air hose. It's cold outside right now, so the air hose is pretty stiff. You can never really get a nice wind on a PVC air hose when it's cold outside. And wrap your Romex around it, give it a half twist. Done. It's either going to have two or three usable wires on the inside. So you're paying by the foot, but you're getting two to three wires, usable wires per foot. If a certain size isn't quite rigid enough for you, quite stiff enough, try this quick trick. Take your drill, take two wires, put them in a vise. Give it a quick twist. Now I've got double the thickness. A little more stiff, a little more rigid, a little more willing to hold a stiffer cord. Hold the ends over. There you go. Now what's the best way to keep this wire when it's not being used for storage? Well, if you go to your plug end, your male end of your cord, you can just wrap it around and it'll stay with your cord. And you want to do that on your male end, that way it's not dragging across your workpiece on your female end. But there, now I know where that piece is when I go to clean up my job site and wrap my cord up. Thanks for watching. That was just a quick cord storage for the cheap guy. <laughs>